Hey, I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Apple suitcase, a toothbrush, apple suitcase, flannel for my face. <laughs> what are you talking about? Pajamas, a hairbrush. New shoes and a case. What is this? I said saying? to my reflection, let's get out of this place. Oh, it's starting to sound familiar. Keep going with it. Uh, I don't remember the rest. Well then. Tempted See, by the, the, the fruit the, of another. See, they go in line with the coins. Tempted by the truth is discovered. Watch been going on. There's no other. Boop do. Tempted by the. Tempted by the fruit of another. That's a weird turn of phrase. Tempted by the fruit of another? Yeah. Dude, your bananas are really getting me going. Yeah. Sorry, baby. Didn't mean to cheat on you, but uh, her fruit was incredibly tempting. <laughs> you know what? Since you put it that way, I forgive you. Yeah. I never meant to cheat on my wife, but <laughs> I never expected to have guavas like that in my face either. <laughs> see the coins, the coins. Look at the two coins. I know, I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Man, those. I'm gonna grapes. say, I'm gonna say it frantically, m more and more each time, even though you've acknowledged it now. Do you, <laughs> do you ever eat grapes and you're like, man, fucking kings ate this shit, and like the peasants were all like, can, I, oh, one day I will be able to eat a grape. Yeah. Meanwhile, you One can go to the day. fucking store and like a dollar fifty nine will buy you five thousand of them. <laughs> they are delicious. They're awesome. I fucking love it's grapes. It's crazy to think about, dude. But like, like what we think of as like lower income people live in the same conditions as like kings did, you know, in medieval times. Um, look, the, the, the coins. See, I, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Ah, shit. What'd you say? <laughs> Fuck. Ah, damn it. <laughs> if only I'd known. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, but the thing is, like, like, even in castles and shit, like, they didn't have, like, heating or air conditioning or anything like that. They, yeah, but those motherfuckers had gardens. Oh, they did have gardens. Alright. They did have gardens. I was reading a thing about, They did um, have tomato gardens. I was reading a thing about Japanese, like, feudal lords. Yes. And, uh, I read that this one, I think it was, like, Tokugawa or something, but... The, he was like so lavish that he like he loved like the local shops So he just like built them on his estate Whoa. He built like a replica of the local shops so that he didn't have to like walk to them. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous Okay, those aren't the people I'm talking about Okay <laughs> There's that old Monty Python thing from whoops uh, from uh, Search for the Holy Grail um, Where the <laughs> Where he's, uh, the guy who plays, uh, Arthur, King Arthur, is, like, riding by, and the people are like, uh, someone's like, that's the king. And the wife's like, really? How can you tell? And he's like, he's the only one who hasn't got shit on him. <laughs> I was like, yep, <laughs> that's about right. If you're the one person who didn't have feces on your person, then you were probably a lordship. Oh, you gotta get the booty. He's got a painted face. Pardon he's me? like, hello. That's what kings did, right? They painted their faces. So they right? gave themselves like big red blush, and they were like, <laughs> "Really? Yeah, right." I I don't I don't know. Hello, sir. God. <laughs> wow, you really. I took that boot you really to the bottom. Yeah, snatched defeat from the jaws of victory. <laughs> oh Lord, Lord and Lady Douchebag. <laughs> the Lord and Lady Douchebag. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love that bit. I've never seen it. What? It's a real thing? You just said it exactly like the bit. Well, I figured that was the only way to go with it. Introducing <laughs> the Lord and Lady Douchebag! What is it? Da, 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 da. I think it was an old SNL bit. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. That was like their actual names. The, um... Have we talked about that SNL sketch? Um, I think it has Nic Nicolas Cage in it. But, uh, he's trying to figure out, like, the names, uh, for his unborn child. And he shoots down everything his wife puts out there. She's like, what about Fred? And he's like, ah, oh, Fred, and the kids will make fun of him, they'll call him Dead Fred, like, f f you know, stuff. He just shoots down everything because the kids will make fun of it on mm -hmm. the schoolyard. And then finally, uh, after a hundred tries, um, they're like, fine, whatever. Like, they settle on a really weird name. And, uh, then Rob Schneider comes in. 
and he's like, uh, he's a delivery guy, and he's like, I got a package here for Mr. Asswipe Johnson. <laughs> and Nicolas Cage was, uh, is like, uh, that's Oswipe. <laughs> oh, Rob Schneider. Yeah. Rob Schneider. Oh, did we get to talk about your favorite new show? Real Rob? Real Rob. Yeah. Did we? On the show? No. Oh. That's a great show. Y you love it. I love it. Can't get enough of it. Aaron called me up and was like, Dan, whatever you're doing, fuck that shit. Real Rob is on. It's Rob Schneider's new show. It's the funniest thing I've ever seen. I love it more than any children I will ever have. I and, did say that, and, yeah. And, and thank you for that, because it is the best. 100% the best, always. Real gold. I really- okay. <laughs> I- I genuinely want to know, because I- I'm- I'm watching it, mm -hmm. and I'm baffled. Because, like, it, 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 it's- You it, hate it. You hate it. More than anything. I don't okay. hate it more than anything. It's okay to hate things. I- I just- I, It's- you honestly hate it. It baffles me because I don't know who it's for. Okay. Because it's- it's- it's from the perspective of Rob Schneider. Right. As a rich asshole. Okay. And it's- and it's like, yeah, okay, I get it. He's playing a character. Haha. -ha. <laughs> he can't- <laughs> he, for, for him to write that character means that he's self-aware of how much of an asshole that character is. Right. Fine. I get it. He's probably a really nice guy in person. Probably. Whoa, there's your winner. Yeah! Who is the show for? Yeah, it's a good question. Is it a ba- is it- is it for rich assholes to relate to? Or is it for the common man to relate to? Who he constantly shits all over. Right. Like, I don't- I don't get it! Yeah, it's um... It's like a Louie, but without, like, the... Without Louie, which is what makes that show good. Like, he has a whole bit... Where, like, he- he doesn't, like... He, he doesn't tip <laughs> well, Yeah. and then somebody judges him for not tipping well, and then he's like, I'm gonna go into my million dollar house, and it's like... <laughs> I, I don't relate to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this isn't like, I don't relate to that guy or that guy. Yeah. And the circumstances aren't funny. It's just frustrating to see people <laughs> act like this. Yeah. I watched you watch two episodes <laughs> on your phone and just like the look on your face. Consternation, I guess, would be the, <laughs> the word. It's, it's like, just like not. It's like a lyric from a hunchback of Notre Dame song. <laughs> I'm not even sure if it's the right word for the situation, but like just the look on your face was something like I'm not enjoying this and I can't stop not enjoying it. I will say though, yes. his wife is very funny on the yeah, show. Yeah, she's super funny. She's really pretty too. She, she's like... Good for her. Cause she play- she's the only relatable character because she's like constantly just like, Shut up! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, yeah! Shut up! So I guess she should be the main character, right? I, I guess, but she's not in it enough for right, her to that, be the main that's character. That's the thing. That's the thing. And also, he's constantly like, "Why are you doing this in my house? I don't ah, you know, my super huge house with a pool." <laughs> 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 I will say though, the first episode has a really funny premise that I don't feel like is explored very well. By the way, we're playing Feeling Hot, Hot, Hot. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Like the old Toyota. Thanks, Dodgy. Um. Dodgy, yeah, dodgy bastard. Thank you, Dodgers slash bikers. <laughs> yeah, hello, Dodgers slash bikers. Um, oh, Imogen Scappy. What the fuck was I gonna say? Oh yeah, it doesn't matter. We're talking about our girl. The f now. she's great. She's I awesome. I think she's okay. I think she's. I didn't. Mean, I didn't mean. I think she's okay. I think right. she's great. Yeah, she's way beyond okay. Um. The first episode, I think it was the first episode, maybe it was the second episode, the premise was funny. Okay. It was, the idea was that he had a personal assistant, who sucks, <laughs> and then he also has a stalker, and he ends up hiring the stalker as his personal assistant because the stalker knows more about him than the personal S assistant Stalker does. as in, oh, a stalker. Yeah, stalker. A stal- I'm sorry, I'm Jersey. Um, oh, a stalker. So that's a funny premise, right? Yeah, like it's, it's like ha ha. Ha ha. This person who shouldn't be uh um is there supposed to be a door here? Or? I guess you just got to go back to the left. I guess so. Um but it was just kind of like uh, uh, he's a stalker and he's really good at being a personal assistant. And oh. then here here's the bit where he's a stalker and he's really good at being a personal assistant again. Okay. And then here's the bit where 
um, he's like, he doesn't, he, he just wants to be a stalker, and he doesn't want to be a personal <laughs> assistant. And then that was, that was it. <laughs> <laughs> that was, the, that was the whole exploration of that funny concept. Yeah, I don't know. So, not a fan. Not a fan. Writing but a TV I, show is hard. But I gotta see. I bet. I gotta see the rest of it. I have to. Really? I you have to know if it, like, gets good or, like, it explores better cons. I don't know. It's fascinating to me. It's fascinating because it has no demographic. That's why. <laughs> yeah. Because it's Ooh. just- it's just this-, this is starting to get awkward. It's just this show with uh, content uh, in it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> People in situations. Yeah, and I guess they're jokes. And it's real. It's real Rob. I would, uh, get that question mark first, before you fucking dive into 12 enemies. There you go. Did you see how I fucking survived that shit, I though? did. It was really impressive. I don't know how it happened. Whew. And then there's this bit in the first episode where he's pitching the show. He's pitching real Rob. Oh. To, like, in the show. So meta. Yeah, and then he's like, I want it to be, like, real. Like, it's really my life. And he, like, really drills that in, and it's like... So... You're admitting to that you suck. <laughs> Because he- he- it's a- he sucks! <laughs> I'm- I'm not saying- like, I don't know anything about Rob Schneider. This is- He could be the fucking sweetest guy yeah. on the planet, and I'm sure he's- he's a great, smart dude. He's friends with all these really cool people, consistently. Yeah. This is- this is what I wanted- this is the emotion I wanted you to get to. Cause this is- this is where you were in the hotel room when you were watching it. You were like, but it, it, it sucks! It, it, it sucks! It's baffling to me! <laughs> How- it- like, why is he saying, like, this is me, this is my life, and he's a terrible person, and it-, it but it, he has to know! Boy. I don't- Ah! It, it tears me apart inside. <laughs> you are salty I really just want to have a conversation and be like, you know you're writing yourself as the biggest douchebag. Yeah. And, and like, constantly reminding people, like, this is how I am in real life. Why would you do that? I, I don't know, Aaron. I don't know, man. You're scaring me. Oh, I don't- I don't get it, man. Because <laughs> it's not, like, humility. It's just, like... I'm a dick <laughs> to people in general. I'm entitled and I hate everyone. Man. I really hope he blocks me on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> you, <laughs> you are doing that thing. Oh, scarf cookie. So intense. Uh, Ross dog. Yeah. What am I doing that thing? Oh, oh, you're doing that thing my dad used to do where like he like he would start to get into a spiral. He doesn't really do it anymore. But when I was growing up, he would like talk about something that makes him mad, and then actually get mad in the process, <laughs> and just get- get worse and worse. He'd be like, Don, you know, you had so much time to do this. You had so much time. You had so much time! <laughs> I was like, oh man! Like, and it got- it would get to the point where I was like, oh man, here it comes, here it comes! And then what came? Uh, just a little hot blast of anger, and then he'd be fine. Oh. So he was like, okay, <laughs> let's, let's hang out now. <laughs> and you're like, dad, no. No, no, I had a, I had a real chill relationship with my dad. That's he's, cool. Yeah, he's awesome. Holy shit, Bowser created this level? Whoa. Whoa. -ho -ho -ho. Next time on Game Grumps, I, we're gonna play a level made by Bowser. I guess fucking so. What the hell? Holy shit. Wow, it's really hard, apparently. 500,000 people have failed. Well, here we go. Yes. Next time on Game Grumps. Real Rob. He named it Real Rob. <laughs> You're still mad. Like, as as if to further drill in the point that, like, this is me. This is who I am. Mm-hmm. It's all right, buddy. Even as someone who has a career in entertainment, I can't relate. It's not a, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal.